All right, hello. Hey guys, welcome back to Celeste's Corner. So today we are filming the updated boyfriend tag slash Q and A. Q and A. So I'm so happy that I'm I have almost 200 <laughs> subscribers. I might even have 200 already by the time this uploads. So I can finally actually do Q and A's because last time I tried to do a Q and A and nobody asked me questions, so I was like, nobody. Damn. <laughs> that was weird but now I have a few questions most of these are from like um, friends on social media okay so if you guys want to be the next Q&A make sure you guys first of all subscribe to my channel second follow me on Instagram which will be linked down below everything will be linked down below the first Thank question um, says well who's it come from I when I took a picture of it um, it doesn't say but I'll write it on the screen Anyway, so do y'all like sharks or crocodiles, and what kind? Um, like to to meet one, I'd rather meet no. a crocodile. I think it means more like which one do you prefer? Like which one's cooler to you? I mean, sharks are vicious and they're kind of scary. Um, and crocodiles are. Yeah, they are. But like, if I want to meet one of them again, I'd meet a crocodile. Oh, I'd probably meet a shark. And what type of shark? I think. I think I'll go with like a hammerhead. Why? Because it just looks so metal. <laughs> and they have like the weird shaped head and like bad, you know, like just badass looking. Like, sir. <laughs> I like it. I don't know. It's cool. Did you just say sir. I was like, Arr. Oh, I heard sir. No. <laughs> so there's that question. Then, um, Hale, underscore Haley underscore 20 said, <laughs> How did you meet? <clears throat> How did he slash you ask? the other person out. So we actually answered this on our last um, boyfriend tag, but we'll answer it again for new subs. Yeah. So um, so I'll say how we, how we met. So how we met was just basically um, in our class in college. We're now in second year college, same program, Child and Youth Care Work at George Brown College. Um, so our first class was Wednesday morning. It was interpersonal communication with Bruce Schumacher. Ah, Brucey. <laughs> Brucey, baby. You guys so um, uh, yeah, we just met there, and there's this activity. We have to have like a little name tag. It's a square thing. Yeah. We write our name in the middle, and we write certain things in the corners, <laughs> and then. Um, <coughs> you okay, baby? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So um, yeah. So we just were interested, but like. We weren't interested, interested. Like, we, like, at first, I was just like, okay, like, this is actor. And, yeah. and then eventually, we started, like, sitting beside each other because at first, we didn't sit with, with each other. I sat with these two other girls. He sat pretty much alone or, like, with this one other girl, but yeah. Yeah. And, um, how did we ask each other? I want to say that story. Okay, so i'm gonna try not to talk too much because apparently i talk too much in other videos and i'm already doing it but anyway the way we met the way we i asked her out i asked her out first of all and the way that that went down was basically uh we stayed off to school one night and i don't know we were just really vibing you know really chilling i was sitting with her like this you know just kind of like loving her <laughs> but we weren't even a thing yet you know we're just friends that was really like i was weird. just like leaning on him like yeah we're comfy because like, our school has like a floor like multiple floors where there's like comfy couches we're just hanging out yeah and we weren't alone either no no we had like one of our friends or but whatever uh the thing is is that when i went home because she lives all the way in the east i live all the way in the west not going to tell you where we live because that's dangerous <laughs> but just between toronto you know, that's basically it. no toronto's in between but anyway um <laughs> we went home and then I just get a message from her and she's like this guy was like talking to me and like hitting on me he's like how she's really pretty and like but, like I, I wasn't like saying it like oh my god this guy was hitting on me no like she was like he was a really nice guy and everything you know like, and, like he, he was talking to me about life and like you know yeah and then he was like yo you're pretty this and that like let me take you out like you know i guess he was being a genuine good guy from what she tells me but i don't really care and then she tells me this story and then after the part of the story that intrigued me was when she said, no, it's okay, actually I have a boyfriend. Because I kept saying no, 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 he's like, come on, just give me a chance. And that, I was just like, okay, how am I going to like get him off my back? Like, I want to say no, I'm sorry. Yeah. So I said, sorry, like I have a boyfriend. And then the thing is, she tells me that in her mind, she was thinking of me. Yeah, for some reason, I was like. So she weird. says it in text. Yeah. Fellas, you know what that means. That's not that's something a girl tells you and you're just gonna be like, oh, that's sweet of you. Like, no, 
Like, mm-hmm. she wants a relationship, a meaningful one. <laughs> but basically, I got really jealous. Not jealous, like, I wanted to hurt somebody. I was just like, what? Who dare? How dare this human with emotions go ask a person he feels something about, like, this question? Like, no. And so I was like, you know what? Let's just make it official. Like, I didn't even ask her out. Like, I just said, why don't we just make it official? Because, like, like why don't everybody just- in our program kept saying, like, so, like, when are you guys going to be a thing? And, like, all our friends are like, come on, like, well, you might like you guys well. are cute together. But then I basically just said, you know, let's make it official. You might as well because you used me. So, I mean, <laughs> just let it be real. And that's it. So, yeah. That's, Here we are. That's the story of us. <laughs> Ten months strong. Ten months strong. Well, almost. almost technically. Technically. Whatever. Okay. Same thing. So, the next question is from one of my friends, Stanny, which is Stanny underscore. I believe that's two underscores. Yeah. <clears throat> On Instagram. So, she asks us a lot of questions. So, shout out to her. So the Good first job. question is, what's one thing you change about one another? Oh, Google search. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one thing I've changed? I don't want to change anything. No, but like really, like I don't see any problems. It's not that we would change. I mean, like I don't. I don't think we would want to change each other. I think it's just what we would like for each other to improve on. Yeah. But like, one thing I would say now I'm thinking what I want to change about him is the way that like he sees himself because sometimes you know like like he'll worry about like some of the things that he's ever done but I'm just like he's like he's a good person and I love him <laughs> <laughs> but like I don't want him to look at himself as bad or or ugly or fat or not saying that it's, like he's saying that but like I don't want him to see himself like that because that's In not good right. And it doesn't even like it doesn't even matter. He can be like three hundred pounds and like I was still like him. <laughs> I'm not three hundred pounds. Don't worry about my weight. Anyway. <laughs> um thank you. That's really nice of you. But uh, honestly and I'm gonna back up my reason, okay, but I wouldn't change anything okay. now. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be any like sappy thing. Just no, like, but like I wouldn't change anything right now. Like what like it, if I s if I would it'd be stupid things, like I would change your taste in movies. Like I would love you to love horror movies. Mm-hmm. Or like I would love to change just like her mentality around like this is gonna come out sounding really weird, but it makes sense. Pain. So we can go do airsoft together, you know what I mean? Cause like I would like to have my partner do my hobbies, but at the same time, it's like my personal space time when I do my hobbies, right? So I wouldn't change them now, but who knows? Maybe in like the future, I would love to like try to convince her to do some of these things. But again, uh, we don't like to demand each other to like do this, like yeah. be this person, because that's not how this relationship works. Yeah. So the next question is, what are your future goals? Do you see yourselves together for a long time? And definitely yes. Um, I know people will be like, oh, like you guys are like going into a relationship <laughs> too quickly or, yeah. um, I don't know. Like people, or like, people don't, say like, you like, guys oh. think you're living in a fantasy world or something like that, but like, or, yeah, like we people, know the reality of people. Yeah. Like people have told us like, oh, you're still in the honeymoon stage. Like just, just wait till like later. But I'm like, and those are the, the people who said the honeymoon stage, yeah. the ones I wanted to see us separated the most. Yeah. So you have to take like, like there will be people. For any of you watching who are in a fresh relationship and you hear people say this to you, there will be people who would like say, oh, I'm so happy for you, but they don't mean it. But listen, at the end of the day, nobody else matters except for the two people that are in this relationship. Exactly. So, and every relationship is different. Different. Yeah. So, I can be super, super strong in three months. A lot stronger than somebody that's been dating for three years. Yeah. Time doesn't change. The maturity level. Time doesn't change your relationship. I don't believe in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. But yeah, that, that's, I mean, we, to answer this one quickly, yeah, we do see ourselves being together for a very long time and yeah. starting like our own lives together. And the reason for that is just because we, we click, period. Yeah. No one needed, I don't, we don't have to explain it to people who want to see it, but like, like you know. We, per- we personally feel that like, this is gonna be like all like cheesy and whatever, but kind of like we were made for each other. 
Yeah, or like and we people, really were. Like, like we we're got each so other. opposite. Yeah. But we're also sometimes the same person. Like it's weird. And it's those little things that really connect you. You don't have to be exactly one hundred percent alike. Yeah. It's when you find little things in each other that is the same is what makes you guys. Strong. And when you're different, it's so much better. It's like we get to all like see like different things. Exactly. So yeah, I used to mess up with him for a while. Uh, how? Who's more romantic? <coughs> oh man, I'm not gonna say me. I'm, I'm gonna say me. Yeah, you. I'm more romantic. And it's not that I don't know about romance, guys. I really do, but it's just I'm too like, and I hate saying this. It just makes me sound stupid, but I guess I could say I'm too manly or macho, man. That I kind of like. I'm I'm not aware of the romantic emotion. Yeah. Like she'll be like. Like he can be is, romantic. Yeah, yeah. But there's moments when she's like. This is so cute. And yeah, I'm like, like, oh, what? that's so cute. He's like, how's that cute? I'm yeah, like, I don't, I don't get it. But I, I'm, it's not an act. Like, I'm not acting to be this tough guy persona. It's really, I just don't see it. But sometimes I do. Yeah. That's it. Um, who wears the pants in the relationship? This is not really... I feel like we're both. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't like this question because... We don't believe in the who wears the pants yeah. relationship We thing. both... I just run each other. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> that sounds bad. If someone cooks, the other person does the dishes. Yeah. If I throw out the garbage, you clean up the room. That type of stuff. That's what has to happen. It's all e equal, and it's legit equal because yeah. even sometimes like, when we like don't want to do something. Even small things. Like, he loves when I make him festivals, which are like a Caribbean, um, like, I guess pastry. pastry or whatever you call it. Yeah. So I'll make him like I'll put the water and the, the ingredients, and then when it's like in the doughy, I'll make him roll it out. Yeah. And then I'll actually deep fry them, kind of thing, you know. I mean, so, teamwork is key. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, to answer this one, I I I guess both of us wear the pants. And um, what are your career plans? So we're both in George Brown College right now. Our career plan is to be child and youth workers full-time, so who's- Wait, you didn't even let me answer my oh. career plans, dude. But it's not I like said, I'm useless. I said we. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. So, whatever whatever she just said, yeah. We're both I, I just wanted to say something. <laughs> we're, we're both child and youth workers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. I really am. I love kids. Yeah. I love kids. The kids are cool. Um, who's the crazy kinky one? So, I think he's more crazy. But he's... He, what? Oh, I thought you skipped a, qu a question. Sorry. Oh. Um, so, he's crazy. Like, I can be crazy when I want to be, but... But the permanently damaged one is me. Permanently damaged? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm loose up here. Like, I don't have, like, a... <laughs> He doesn't have an off switch. Yeah. Sometimes and, it's really annoying. And no, no, no. I don't want people to think like I'm a cannibalistic murderer. No, it's kind of just like crazy as in like, you know, when your brain says, hey, maybe this is dangerous. My brain is just like, hey, hey maybe this is cool. So he's more crazy. I can be crazy when I want to be. Like, I feel, I feel like when you first meet me, like, I feel like really like shy. She comes off as shy, but trust me, she's nothing even I'm not shy, shy when you get to know me. Like, yeah. I'm crazy. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who starts the fights? Him. Him. Okay. So Once you guys look, okay. I know. <laughs> okay, you go first. You you explain and I explain. I know people say that you know in the beginning of your relationships, like it's like oh we share everything, and it was like that for a month. Cause no, we share everything. What do we not share? Sometimes I walk into the store and I'm like, yo, you want something? And she's like, no, I'm good. And I come out with my stuff from the store, like a convenience store. Like I said, like I got like a drink and chips. I open up my chips. She's like, can I have some? Like, I asked you, did I not? <laughs> or the same with the drink. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, that's, what was my point with this? The thing is, is that she starts the fights because like, she just does things that are to annoy me. Okay, so I feel the same way that he starts the fights because he, um, Usually he says things that he believes are funny. So again, like he has that wire in his head that doesn't tell him like, oh, like this is wrong or blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So like he says things that are, are sometimes funny, but the way I see it, if you say something one time, let's just use an example. Like 
if he says, oh, you're fat, which he doesn't say to me, but if, no, he, whoa, whoa. if he does not <laughs> say to me, but that, that just came to my head. If he says, oh, <laughs> you're fat, then I'll be like, that's funny. I mean, like, I'm fat myself. Yeah, so then, <laughs> so then I'll be like, huh, that's funny. But if you say it again tomorrow and the day after and the day after, it's like, why do you keep it's saying It's annoying. I'm annoying, but it's only because I don't have original jokes. I'm a poor comedian. Yeah, that's why I say he starts it because he always says things that gets me annoyed. And then I get either quiet with him or I get little like, mm, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I know this happens. I, I see it. And she's like, and then he starts, And then he starts like getting an attitude with me. And I'm like, why are you getting an attitude with me when you're the one that started it? <laughs> I hate this. I hate when you say this. Because it's not how it works, man. I didn't do anything. You did. So you can't get mad that you did something to make me mad. Whatever. Okay, she has a point. She has a point on that. But that usually only lasts like 10 minutes and then we love And then we're back to lovey-dovey. There you go. Okay. Nothing and it doesn't happen. Cringe and puke. It doesn't happen all the time. Like so the next question is from Marlena. <laughs> and her question were two things um, you like and dislike about each other. One thing I dislike about her. Her ability to not make up her mind on the spot like this. <laughs> like, perfect example. But this isn't going to make me mad because it's a question. But there are some times when I'm like, yo, like, what do you want to do, A or B? And she's like, oh, is there something between A and B? Like, no, <laughs> it's A and B. And then, like, we, we spend, like, a whole hour and then, the, our, like, time flies by. I'm just kind of like, just, just pick something. I don't really care, right? And that's that. That's the first thing I dislike about her. The second thing I dislike is her, when she gets like mad at me, and then like I ask her like, "Why are you mad?" And then it takes me like a good thirty minutes to. But this is being a hypocrite because I do the same thing. But it, oh, I'm just yeah. saying you it. You didn't I, even take thirty minutes. It takes like two hours. I mean, everyone. Maybe even a whole day. Everyone in a relationship knows that that's one thing you will dislike about your partner is when they get mad, how they don't talk to you. That's literally what's happening with me. But I do the well, same thing. Well, we do talk to each other. It just takes us some time. Yeah. And what I like about her, virtually everything, really. I like that she adapted to my lifestyle because I'm weird and I do weird things, but she's okay with it. And she's like, yeah, you know what's up. <laughs> and another thing I like about her is how badass she is. She has these moments where it's like, like, dude, I didn't know you had that in you. Like? I have a moment in my head. What? Uh, we went to your grandma's house and we were riding the ATVs. Oh. <laughs> and like, she was just gunning it. Like, and I'm like, yes. I'll go as fast as I could. Give me fuel, give me fire. <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, that's literally it. Okay, two things that I don't like about you. One thing I would say is how long it takes him to do something that I asked him <laughs> to do. He does this all the time. Okay, so here's an example. Sometimes, well, all the time, um, him and I and his brother are <coughs> usually in their room and we're just hanging out where they're watching YouTube, watching TV, they're playing video games on my laptop, whatever we're doing. And for some reason, because there's three of us in the room, the room gets very messy. So I'm just like, I'm like, okay, well, Hey, why are you eating my candy? I'm not. Continue. You were like, okay. Anyway, so I'm like, okay, let's clean up this room. And then I'll eat. <laughs> You're distracting me. I'm just here. Anyways. So Races. I'll tell him, okay, like, I'm going to do this. Can you do this? You know, teamwork. Teamwork makes your dream work. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay. And I don't do it. Ten minutes later, he's still sitting where I asked him. But you always ask me at the wrong time, like in the middle of a game, after I eat. No, it doesn't matter. Or like, what's another example? Um, Can we? Oh, oh my god. No, I hate how, like, he, he says that I can't make up his mi my mind. He puts too much things on his mind. Literally the other day, I think he knows what I'm about to say. Yeah, I know. The other day, he's like... Cause we weren't we weren't here, but he was like, "Oh, when I get home, I'm gonna watch Spider-Man: Homecoming. When I get home, I'm gonna watch The Fosters. 
When I get home, I'm gonna play this game. When I get home, I'm gonna play this game. When I get home, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch something else, some kind of other movie. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z and all that stuff. He that one day he named so many things like he's gonna do when he gets home. And I'm like, which one are you gonna do? He gets home and does none of those things, and he does something else, or I he sleep. or he goes to sleep. And I'm like, what happened to all this? Um. Well, she also said, what are two things you like in this like? So, like, okay. So let's for this like, let's talk about features. Okay, maybe. I already just said what I like about you. I just said I like how you have your moments. Of no, badassery. like features. Like so, I would say what, two things I like about him is his eyes i always tell him all the time i love his chocolatey brown eyes guys like in the sunlight oh my gosh his eyes are like Ow. oh my god they look so nice right now thank you like he doesn't have dark brown eyes like like it's not like poopy eyes like mine <laughs> his are so nice guys okay next one next feature yay next feature <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else I like about him. <laughs> I just like everything about him. <laughs> I like his smile. Oh my god, I love when he smiles. Like, actually smiles and like when he's laughing. <laughs> I love when he's happy. <laughs> <laughs> See, he can't take compliments. Like, he's so weird. But, um, I love when he's just happy and like smiling from ear to ear and like laughing. Like, his smile is just warms my heart. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I already answered this question. No, you didn't. Okay, well, two features I like about you. You just want to feel special, don't you? No. Okay, well, <laughs> I've, I've been telling her this even since before we started dating when I was just a friend. I love her smile. Like, I'd always be looking at her smile. I'm like, oh, look, your lips quiver. You're trying not to smile. Look, it's doing <laughs> it. See? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's. I hate my smile bios. She's very subconscious of it, but like I think it's amazing. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You take that compliment. Just the one more thing. Oh wow! Uh, I like her personality, and I know that sounds very corny. Like no, she's not like oh free the people, oh children. Like she is that, but that's not what I mean. What I mean is kind of like she she doesn't let me just be this person that I would like to be, which is the easy way out. Like kind of like. Uh, oh, like I'm gonna fail school, so I'm not gonna go. Like, she's pushing me. She's like, No, you're not. Like, you're gonna get up, pick yourself together, and go. Because if you don't try, then you look worse than you already do by thinking you're not gonna try. Did that make sense? But yeah, basically, that's it. That's that's a feature that I like about it. 